Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. In today's video, I am going to talk about top 20 tips and tricks for J notes. So guys, I will open the J notes. So uh, the first tip is about extracting the text from a PDF file. So I open this PDF file. Okay, so here you can see I have different pages over here. So for example, I want to extract uh, text okay so for example i want to extract this text so we have uh, this ocr tool available i just select it and then it will extract the text from this page okay so i will show you so now you can see over here it is converting so you can see all our text is now available over here okay if you want to edit it you can also edit it so you can see over here i just selected and here you can do the editing whatever you want to write you can write in this the second thing is if you want to copy this you can also copy it okay it is copied to clipboard then you can use it in the other platforms the other thing is you can also share it in the other platforms okay so here we have the share option so if you select it okay now it is exported and now you can share in different platforms the next step is about dragging the image and text from your internet browser into your notes so i will open a new note okay and then if i want to bring uh, some kind of image so i just use this edge panel i open my internet browser in the split screen okay and here i have different images so for example i want to drag any image for example i want to drag this image i can just simply drag it and then i can easily put into uh, my notes okay so you can see i can also edit it if i want i can also uh, bring text okay so for example again i open one more internet browser over here okay and here i have some text so i want to put this text into my notes i can also do it so for example you can see i select this text simply i press and hold it and then you can see over here i can easily drag it into my notes and i can easily put it over here and then if you want you can change its size okay you can do all the editing you can edit this text as well the next most interesting feature in j notes is to do list option so you can create a to do list okay so you can see over here the to do list is available you can create a new list okay so here you can give a title you can put details and then you can also associate a notes with this uh, create to do list for example i select this edit option and i want to select any notes okay so for example i want to select uh, this pdf file then i press done so now you can see it is associated the second thing is you can also enter the time and date okay so here is the uh, reminder option so you can see you can insert any date if you want to set a time you can also set a time so here you can see i have the time option as well the next feature is about backup your or notes or backup your data so guys you can backup your notes into google drive or one drive so here you can see it is giving me two options backup data to google drive and backup data to one drive the next feature is about categorization so you can create folders and subfolders according to your semesters according to your subjects so here uh, you see this plus icon just select it and you see this option of add folder so here you can give it any name for example i want to give it a name of summer and then i create it so here the folder is now created i just open this folder and in this folder again i can create subfolder according to my subjects okay so add folder give it a name of uh, for example physics okay so i give it a name of physics and then i select this create option so you can see if i go back i have this folder and inside this folder i have another folder and here in this folder i can create my notes okay so you can see add note and then here easily you can create a note guys you can have different page orientation in same document or same notes so for example i open uh, this note okay so you can see all of the pages are vertical okay but in the same note i want a horizontal page so what i can do is i select these three dots and here you see this option of replace the template i just select it then replace the paper template okay and then here you see this option of type vertical so i just select it and i make it horizontal 
okay and now from here i can select any page as well for example i want this sheet okay and then i press done so here you can see now it is in the uh, horizontal mode okay so all the pages are in vertical okay and this one is in the horizontal mode so you can have different page orientation then next tip is about taking a screenshot of a specific part in your notes so for example i open my notes and here i have this part and i want to take a screenshot for this specific part so here is the screenshot tool i just select it and here we have this screenshot available so you can select any size whatever you want you can select the size for example i only want this part okay and then i select this tick option and here you can see so here you can see the screenshot is now available so here you can copy it you can crop it you can create link and you can use it for image recognition okay and you can use it in the other notes as well the next tip is about exporting your notes so guys you can export your notes as a editable pdf as a flat pdf and as j notes so here you can see we have the menu so here we have the option of share and export okay so you just select it so here you can see you have three different options editable pdf flat pdf and j notes okay the second thing is if you want to share just select this icon and then you can see it will show you all the platforms where you can share your notes the next tip is about bringing uh, the text from a clipboard into your notes and you can change its shape its orientation so for example i bring uh, i open the edge panel and here i have my clipboard and you can see uh, i have this text i can just uh, drag this text into my notes like this and from here i just select it and then uh, you can see i can easily uh, extend it okay so you can see this is actually the all the text okay and then if you want you can also make it like this okay so for example i want to put it over here and then i again select it and then you can see i can make it in this position as well guys you can also edit it if you want you can also increase the size you can change the color and the, you can use all the other uh, font tools as well the next step is about creating an outline for a specific page for your notes so this will help you to find out the page easily for example i want to create an outline for this page okay so i just select these three dots and here you see this option of add to outline i just select it and and here you can give it any uh, title for example i want to give it a title of uh, important okay i write here important okay and then i press this show okay so now it is added to outline now for example i am in a different page in my notes okay and i want to search that specific page i just select this search option and here i select this outline option and here i write the keywords uh, so my keyword was important so i write here important and then i start search so here you can see the page is now visible i can just simply select it from here and it will bring me directly to that page the next step is about shape tool so we have different shape tools option available so here is the shape tool so you can create any kind of shape for example i create this shape so you can see it will make it neat for me or if i try to create this kind of shape i can use it we also have some other shapes already uh, available in the j notes okay so for example like this shape so i just simply create it like this we have this kind of shape then we have this shape so there are different shapes available okay so you can use this tool as well uh, the next step is about uh, voice recording so you can record your lectures so here is the mic tool just select it and it will start a recording okay so in the meantime you can take your notes okay and you can also record uh, your voice okay so once you finish you just uh, press this icon and your recording is now available over here you can play it select it and it will start a record okay so this is really really helpful if you want to record your lectures the next thing that i'm going to talk about is pdf annotation uh, so you can annotate any pdf file so i select this plus icon you see this option of import pdf so you just select any pdf file for example i select uh, this pdf file uh, okay i select this pdf file and then i press import 
okay so now my pdf file is open so you can see over here so now i have all the tools available on top for example if you want to underline something so you can just select this shape tool and then we have this underline option so you can see i can easily underline anything okay and then if you want you can select this kind of like dotted line so you can see you can select this line as well the other option is you can select like this type of a zigzag line okay so you can see you can select this one as well you can use the highlighter option so here is the highlighter so you can highlight anything we have different colors option in the highlighter okay so you can see this one uh, then we have the uh, handwriting tool you can uh, write anything in uh, your uh, pdf uh, then we also have the eraser if you want to erase something then if you want to import some kind of text so you can select this text tool okay so you can write here anything okay so you can see you can write here okay so the next thing is if you want you can also insert a blank page into your pdf file okay so here you see this plus icon just select it and here you have different page option different templates option available for example i want to insert a blank page like this so you can see the blank page is now added okay so you can see this is the blank page and here is my normal pdf so this is how you can add the blank page as well the next thing that i'm going to talk about is a templates so we have digital planner templates so here you select these three dots okay and then you see this option of replace the template you see the replace the paper template and here you can see we have different options different categories general planner learn for example i select this planner and here we have daily planner i press done okay so here is the daily plan planner we have the dates okay and then if you want the weekly planner i will show you the weekly as well so this is the weekly planner i press done so this is our weekly planner and here you can see we have different days available then we also have yearly planner and monthly planner also so here you can see we have different planner options uh, then if i go to uh, other category which is learn we have different kind of templates available right okay work are so different categories of templates available guys you also have the option uh, to merge different document to merge different notes so select these three dots and here you see this option of merge documents so you can select it and here you have all the option to select in different pages or different notes you can merge them okay so this is really really useful the next tip that i'm going to talk about uh, which is available in j notes is you also have the laser pointer option so here we have the laser pointer tool okay so you can see over here so if you want to point out something uh, if you are recording your lecture in your notes or you are giving presentation you can use this laser pointer you want to mention something you can use this laser pointer if you uh, want to specify something in uh, your notes we also have this uh, dot option so here you see this dot okay so you can see over here this dot laser as well so you will you can easily point out anything in your notes the next tip that i'm going to talk about is uh, taking picture and inserting into your j notes so i open this picture option and if i select this arrow i have this camera option okay so you can see i just select it okay and then uh, with my tablet i can take any uh, picture for example i want to take picture of uh, this okay uh, you can take any picture of any paper or any document so for example i just want to take this picture okay now everything is done uh, and then i press okay okay so you can see now i can use this picture the next tip is about reading mode so you can select this icon over here this is for the reading mode so you can read your documents okay uh, you can read a book you can read a pdf file or you can read your notes uh, the next tip that i'm going to talk about is using your finger to draw anything on your notes okay so for example uh, i want to draw something on my notes i just select this icon over here okay and then you can select any pen from here for example i select this pen okay and then i can use my finger to draw so you can see 
I'm using my finger to draw. So if you want to use your finger, you can use this option as well. The next tip is about using different tabs. So guys, in J notes, you can open different tab for different notes. Okay, so you can easily switch between different notes. So these are different tabs. Okay, so you can easily move between them and you can edit any uh, of your notes. Okay, so you can use this okay so this is really amazing uh, now i will talk about uh, different tools okay so for example i mentioned over here we have pen tool okay so you can see different thickness with different colors so you can use your pen tool to write uh, then we have the highlighter tool okay uh, we have eraser tool okay so you can erase we have the selection tool so you can select any part okay in uh, your notes okay and uh, then we also have this sticker tool so you can insert any sticker we have different stickers option available okay so you can see you can insert any sticker okay the last tool that i'm going to talk about is this ocr uh, so guys this ocr is basically you can take any picture okay so for example i select you can use your camera to take any picture and it will extract the text from that image or uh, if you have notes it will take extract the text or you can use the gallery okay so for example i go to gallery if i have something in my gallery okay so for example i have this one okay this file so you can see it will convert everything whatever inside uh, that image it will convert it into the text whatever text is available so this all text is available and then you can copy it you can edit it and then you can share it as well so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoyed the video so please subscribe to my channel thank you very much